what is up ladies and gentlemen today I am going to be going over CC cleaner pro and giving you a rundown slash tutorial of the program so without further ado let's get into it alright so when you open it up you're first greeted with the cleaner tab and under is the windows and applications tab so your windows is straightforward it's just everything that was installed with your OS and you can go ahead and analyze that and run CC cleaner on um, on those fi files and folders and then you have your applications the third-party software programs that you've downloaded anything from browsers to your applications utilities just stuff of that nature just anything that you've downloaded and then next we have the registry where you can scan for issues alright because issues with registries are, are pretty common but then you can fix those issues by cl clicking this button down here fix selected issues and then you're greeted with this window where you can back up your changes which is extremely useful just in case there's a mistake because while they're rare it does happen sometimes okay so you can back up your changes and go back if need be then you have your tools alright so you have the uninstall UI it's easily accessed through CC cleaner where you can uninstall repair rename or delete and then you have the startups which shows you the programs that um, run as soon as you start up or boot up your computer and then you have your browser plugins where you have your browser add-ons you have Internet Explorer Firefox Google Chrome any extensions that you've added can be found here next you have disk analyzer so you can choose which disk you want to analyze any categories and then you go ahead and click analyze and then it'll show you um, which category is taking up the most space in your computer very useful for organizing and figuring out which folders you want to delete uh, moving on we have the duplicate finder so here you have you have um, the duplicate finder and you can choose any driver folder and you can usually duplicates come in with um, music or movie folders movie files and those take up a lot of space any duplicates so removing it can uh, give your storage more breathing room alright so next you have system restore uh, system restore points you can manage them all of here all you can manage all of them here excuse me and then uh, you can also remove them and removing them should free you a lot of space as well alright and then you have the option to drive your wipe, um, wipe your drivers over here so you select the drive and then you select which type of wipe so free space or entire and then you can um, choose one pass which is not really that secure com or all the way down to 35 passes which is very secure useful for very sensitive information on your computer moving on to our options we have the settings and this is your basic settings to control how CC cleaner functions you know just little things like run CC cleaner when it starts um, the type of deletion of any files or folders you can do a normal file deletion or you can choose a secure file deletion similar to how you wipe your drive okay and speaking of wiping drives you have the option to do so over here and then over here is a really cool um, feature so you know how when you log into Facebook and you um, click remember me and the next time you log into Facebook it remembers you remembers your credentials well when you run a, a, a cleaning program like this you delete all cookies and it can be annoying to re-log into Facebook or any social media like that and keep doing so so um, CC cleaner has the option where you can whitelist a cookie and that prevents you from relogging every time it's a very useful um, feature alright and then over here you have your include where you can choose which files or folders you want to uh, remove with CC cleaner and then you have the opposite with exclude over here and then this is um, one of my favorite features so you can completely customize the schedule of when CC cleaner runs so you have um, the time when it, the date it starts um, the date over here as well and each month and then you could choose if it's monthly daily or weekly you can just completely customize it to your liking okay 
Um, next we have the monitoring so this allows you to choose the threshold of the data that then prompts you to do something with CC Cleaner so you can either prompt to clean or prompt to open automatically open or uh, automatically cl clean without notification so you can just customize that um, in addition you can do automatic cleaning with your browsers as well and then you have the option to even be asked or do not monitor in general alright moving on we have the users tab where you just choose which users get CC cleaner and which users don't okay straightforward and finally you have the advanced tab which allows you to just show like any additional settings of how CC cleaner functions you can control that um, with things like showing initial detail view or hide warning messages or close or shut down after cleaning just little things like that with CC cleaner alright so that about wraps up the rundown of CC Cleaner. I hope you enjoyed and um, take it easy.